We're going to take a look at the K Wheats um, electric screwdriver. I'm not going to do the classic unboxing thing because if you open the box up, all you're going to see is this kit, which comes in a really nice case, and a little instruction sheet. And that instruction sheet is essentially, uh, it's in several languages, but it gives you a list of what the things are that are in here, and uh, the specifications, and a couple safety precautions. So there's not a whole lot there, although it is useful. So we open this up and a Velcro closure for the case and we find that we have got the biggest collection of screwdriver bits I've ever seen in my life. There's 120 of them that cover just about everything you could think of. Uh, there's straights, there's Phillips, there's stars, there's hex heads, there's Torx, here's some spanners, uh, there's just stuff I've never even heard of. So you've got Pretty much everything and that's good because a lot of companies are using what they refer to as tamper proof or tamper resistant screw heads nowadays to keep people from repairing themselves but with this kit that's not going to be an issue and that's not all that's in here you also have of course the screwdriver itself which comes packed in a little plastic tube now this, this little plastic tube is important because it keeps you from accidentally hitting the buttons all right so you don't want to throw that away uh, you want to put it back in there before we go any farther, let's take a good look at the tool itself. Uh, it seems to be about 8 inches long and about a half inch diameter. It's got an aluminum case, it feels like. The uh, business end here, it looks like the, the tool holder is magnetic because I can feel that bit snap into place. That's great. You don't have to worry about losing bits. There's uh, three buttons here. This back one turns on the light. I don't know if you can see that on my hand there. And uh, it's also used for changing the torque. If you hold it down for three seconds, it changes the torque okay this dual part button here this is the forward and reverse control and uh, it's actually got quite a bit of torque as you can see I can't stop it with my fingers so that's pretty good um, that's definitely more force than I need for taking apart any screws I find inside of a piece of uh, personal electronics or say a phone or, or even a, a instrument of some sort on this end, we've got a, it looks like a Type-C um, USB charger. So that's the most common one in use today for handheld electronics. And it does come with a cable for that. And so it's easy to recharge. It says it takes about 60 minutes to recharge it. Uh, I'm not real sure how it'll, long it'll run on that charge, but I wouldn't surprise me if you couldn't do a whole day's worth of work on one charge. All of these will fit in there, obviously. Uh, just a, it's a, a magnetic holder, so it keeps them in, as well as some tools. Now, this kit was really designed more than anything else for repairing cell phones, but it works for pretty much all electronics. And if you're any sort of a do-it-yourself or some time or other, you're going to end up be working on some small electronics, okay? So it's useful. So let's look at the various tools that are in here. Uh, to start off with, you've got a suction cup that's got a... Uh, this is for removing the, the SIM card from a phone. You push that in a hole and it pops it out. And the suction cup you would put on the glass so you could remove the glass. This is a magnetizer and demagnetizer so that you can magnetize any of these bits. You know, because those little screws can be really hard to hold on to. And speaking of holding on to those little tiny tools, or those little tiny screws, they've got some uh, nice tweezers here, bent tweezers. A um, little dust brush. So for the screwdriver itself, there are two different extensions. There's a straight extension. And then there's a flexible extension, which is really nice when you've got things that are hard to get to. So you can actually run that around the corner. And uh, it the, the outside doesn't turn. There's an inside cable that turns. Really, really useful, okay? And then we have several tools that are designed specifically for taking phones apart. Now, modern cell phones don't have screws holding them together. Some of the stuff inside is with screws, but the case itself is just snapped together. This is something they started doing about 40 years ago. Uh, I was actually in engineering when they started doing that, making cases that snap together. And nowadays, everything is snapped together. It's faster and easier to produce. It's less expensive, less labor involved. Uh, but it's a little bit of a challenge for those of us that are trying to take things apart and work on them, especially if we don't do it all the time. So these tools are called, there's a term here, it's spudger, S-P-U-D-G-E-R. This is a metal spudger. 
and it's designed specifically for prying cases apart. And there's a plastic one here as well. And then these things here, which look like guitar picks, which are also for, for taking cases apart. There's two different styles of those included in the kit. And then of course the recharger, because this charges off of a C, type C uh, USB connector, so you can charge it up pretty much anywhere. That's the most common in use today. So it's a really complete kit. I just happen to have a, a old cell phone here that as you can see, uh, the screen's broken on it. Um, I don't use this anymore, so it really doesn't care, matter if I ruin it in the process. Uh, let me say before I start taking it apart, I am not a phone repairman, okay? I have literally only taken one other phone apart in my life, and that was a couple years ago. So we're going to start off by popping the SIM card holder out of here. Okay, and that gives me an, a, an entry point. And what I want to do is get the back off of it. So I'm going to start off with this, this metal spudger uh, because it's a little harder to pry when you start. And I've got it started here. So now... There we go. Come on. Like I said, I'm not an expert, okay? So this works pretty well. And you could do the same thing with these... I guess with these guitar picks, or I could maybe use, leave one of these here to keep that from closing by accident while I go around here with with this one. Yeah, I think this I think this actually works easier. Okay, there we go. So we've got the the back off this phone. Now, if I was going to replace the glass on this phone, I would want to stick my suction cup on the phone, the glass of the phone, and that will allow me to lift that off when I'm ready, okay? But if we look in here, we can see we've got some screws holding this thing together. That's too big. One of the nice design features here is this, uh, these are all labeled in this case, so I can make sure I, I get them back in the right spot. Well, that works easy enough. Wow. That's a lot easier than doing it by hand. So this kit would allow me to do everything I need to to this phone uh, or other small electronics. If I've got a, a multimeter I need to take apart, if I've got... Uh, just about anything. I've got all kinds of small electronics, as a lot of people do these days, and this gives me a lot of flexibility in being able to, to work on them. I mentioned about the, the, the screw magnetizer. If I took this tip and ran it around in here, that would allow it to be magnetized. After a while, it'll lose that magnetism, but that's what that's for. These little tiny screws, sometimes it's necessary to magnetize them in order to be able to pick them up and put them back into the device you're working on. So all in all, this is a really great kit. It's very complete. Uh, I can't imagine anything on a, on a phone or other small electronic device I'd be working on that I wouldn't be able to do with this tool. And it's a whole lot easier than trying to just use a manual screwdriver to do the same job. So definitely worth the money, definitely worth having in your toolkit for those small repairs that you end up having to do.